Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And in this video, I'm going to show you the best metal locations over on Scorched Earth that just got released. Um, there are really seven major nodes that you can go to, and I'm going to show you all seven of them right now, what to look for and kind of the best places to go for PvP versus PvE. So if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel for some more content. So anyways, let's get started. So this one is at 2222. It's a pretty easy one to find in the upper north corner of the map. It's probably the largest metal spawn overall because it takes over the largest space. And uh, with Ark Survival Ascended, they did kind of change how metal works on the map itself. So they moved a lot of the locations, but they look a little bit different. They look like little crystals, just like they do on the other maps. And then the high quality ones are just, I mean, they're, they're kind of around it but anyways this location specifically has a whole bunch of added metal nodes now they are all on cliff faces so you're probably going to need an argentavis and an anki in order to really access most of these but this entire zone i'm going to fly up the entire zone that i'm looking at is filled with metal so it's probably the number one metal spot on the entire map now they did adjust a lot of it so almost all the metal that you can find over here like you're talking you will never need metal again. It's probably one of the most dense metal concentrations that I've ever seen on any map. And it's just this entire mountain is covered in it. Um, so you can kind of like go around the entire mountain and find node after node after node after node. It'd be difficult to get a train here is the one thing that kind of sucks. But, you know, it's uh, it's certainly a doable thing to get a train near the bottom of this, which is going to be a useful thing. So this entire area is the number one metal spot that you can use in the game. Now let's go ahead and go to the number two metal spot because a lot of larger tribes, especially for PvP, will be hitting this one up on a regular basis, so it's a little more dangerous. The number two metal spot is at, go ahead, go up so I don't get absolutely obliterated by those things, is in the bottom left corner at 7027. Now on top of these mountains, it's a little bit less concentrated than obviously the one in the upper left corner, but this one is one that you can still get a significant chunk. So what I would do is I would start on the top of the peaks. You can see there's a couple of nodes right there. And then if you drop between the two peaks, you can see there are a couple nodes on this guy. There's actually a line of metal that kind of goes down. So you kind of harvest it as you go down this hill. Um, and as it goes down the side, you'll start to notice it gets towards the bottom and you start running out of metal. So go to about this point and then you can kind of go around the outside of this mountain and you'll see quite a few metal nodes. There's enough to definitely sustain a larger tribe. Um, but it's not quite as much as our first spot and a little bit more danger with the wyvern's nest being nearby. So you don't want to really go down this backside. Just stay on the front side of the mountain. And that's pretty much the safest way you can go in and get a ton of metal over here. Now, there is enough to come back with a few thousand per run. So I wouldn't be super concerned about this location having a ton of metal. So definitely utilize this one if you can. Now, next up on our list, we're going to go ahead and go to spot number three. Now, again, a smaller one, not, not as big as these other two, but still a great spot overall. Now, this spot specifically coordinates okay thank you is it right over here at 2943 now this location near that spot that we were talking about not quite as good but this is more of one that you can hit up for quick metal because it's kind of central to the map and it kind of sits in the top middle and the entire mountain right here is covered in metal now you just have to go in the top side of this mountain because as soon as you get towards the bottom unfortunately there seems to be no metal so if you stick towards the top you'll find quite a concentration of metal to this zone um, you can kind of ring around the top of this. Again, not as much spots number one or two, but for quick metal access, this is one of the quicker ones that you can get a, a good chunk of metal and then return. There's probably like 10, 15 metal nodes right around this little area, including up on top sometimes. Now, it's a good spot, but again, the other two spots are definitely better, but this is more of one of those quick spots. Not one that I would necessarily use on a regular basis. Just, hey, I need metal right now. You're pretty much guaranteed to find it there because no one hits this spot up. Now, metal spot number four. This is another one of those metal spots that has a significant chunk. You just got to look for it a little bit. This one, middle left above the Wyvern's Gar again. Um, so we kind of talked about that little dip around that side. If you follow this side of the mountain down, um, you will get a significant chunk over here. And you kind of just keep going down. I know this is basically the same as number two, but uh, you can kind of follow the ridge down. And this is the reason I call it number two, because if you follow the ridges, you will end up getting lines of metal. I can't think of a better way to call it other than lines of metal, because basically when you're going down these ridges, 
um, you you have to like go a long, long distance. Whereas like this side over here, where we were talking about earlier, it kind of dips down and follows that line and you go around this side. If you follow the ridge over here, you can get a significant chunk of metal just by running the entire ridge. It will take you a lot of time, but if you run the ridge of the Wyvern Scar, you will get a good chunk of metal. Now, that is why I kind of have it listed as a separate thing, because it's not quite the same. It's a little bit of a larger move that you have to make, but it's still a doable thing. Again, not as good as number one or two, but in a pinch, it's a good metal spot to hit up. Now, metal spot number five. Now, what I will mention is that a lot of people don't realize this. They actually change the metal locations on Ark Survival Ascended. A lot of them are quite different from what they used to be. So this next one, again, another one, it's a great spot. This is the cords of it, 5881. And it's actually something that kind of was existing in the previous Scorched Earth, but it looks like the metal rocks might be just like skeletons. However, upon a closer inspection, once you get closer to them, there's actually a ton of metal all around Green Ob. You can kind of go over here. You can go on top of this mountain and there's some, uh, yeah, uh, it, it's, it's all over the place. It just surrounds this like little pillar zone right here. Um, and they are all over. There's also a benefit, added benefit of being nearby to the oil veins. So you can hit up some oil veins as long as you're over here, but the metal just is on the ground. So it's easy to access, will be accessible by train probably. Um, and again, it's another one of those that's not as good as the one and two, but it's a good spot to just get some metal right off the bat. You can see that there's some right here and some of these are high quality, so you're gonna get twice the amount. Um, but again, this is just a flat zone with a good chunk of metal. This will sustain probably like a medium and smaller tribe without much of a problem. So keep that in mind. Now, next up on our list is number six. Now, six and seven are a little bit, I don't wanna say special, but uh, they're pretty much guaranteed to have metal and they are easy to access. That's why I like them. So number six, kind of in like the middle-ish over here, it's this little weird looking pillar thing, right? This weird looking pillar thing for some reason, it's flat, but it's got a significant chunk of metal that is almost always there because people don't seem to go to this one and I don't know why. You're also gonna find a ton of sulfur right here, which is kind of nice, but there's metal rock, there's a metal rock. And as you go like around and kind of move, you'll see metal, 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 metal all over the place. Now it's only at the top of this mountain. So you're not really gonna enjoy a benefit of going down, but if you kind of hit the top of this mountain up, there's a significant chunk of metal up here. And then you can kind of sometimes get lucky and move around this side and get catch a note or two but it's a good quick run to get some metal and get back to your base because Scorched Earth can be so dangerous that this isn't gonna be like a 30 minute run. This is gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna do a 10 minute metal run and come back to base. So it's a good spot to go for some quick access to metal and uh, you definitely utilize that one. Now, the last metal location on our list is another one of those quick grab your metal and go. Um, unlike the top two where you're gonna get thousands and thousands and thousands of metal, this one over here is another one of you loot the area and get out. So the coordinates of this one are 2457 and uh, just so you guys can see uh, what's going on over here uh, basically you've got a lot of rock golems so just be aware of that and the entire mountain is kind of covered in metal so you have to rotate around in circles in order to figure out what's going on and uh, it, it's a ton of metal that's easy to access and uh, it's just hidden that's going to be the one thing you want to pay attention to this mountain has a bunch and uh, yeah that's pretty much it. It's just hidden. That's what sucks. So it's another one of those metal runs. You'll get a bunch, but it's a little dangerous because you have to go all over the place and having being out on the electrical storms or just for a longer period of time on a PVP map, it's a little bit more difficult to access it. But those are your seven major metal spawns on Scorched Earth. And uh, hopefully this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach.